Welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to create a client server .NET application using Azure Service Bus Queues. As a prerequisite, we need to have an active Azure subscription. So let's create a new Service Bus namespace. Click Create and define the project details. Select any resource group. Define the name of the namespace, the location, and finally the pricing tier. We have three tiers basic standard premium for demo purposes we will use the basic tier which supports queues let's click review plus create to validate the namespace create the azure resource go to visual studio and create a new blank solution we will add two .NET console projects so define the name of the solution click create and add the first project which will be for the client site but a new project which will be a console app, define the name, client, select the latest.NET version. So the next step is to add the required NuGet package, the client library to connect with Azure Service Bus namespace. So add a new NuGet package called azure.messaging.servicebus. Install the package, go to the program.cs file, create a new service bus client to send messages to the queue, reference the class from the namespace and pass the connection stream. So go to the Azure portal, go to the new deployed resource. In the shared access policies tab, click and we have a new policy which we can copy the primary connection stream. So copy the value and paste it here. Let's create a sender to send a message to the queue. So service box client that creates sender method by defining the name of the queue. So go to the Azure portal and create a new queue. Define the name of the queue. Let me copy the name and select the default values. Click create and go to the sender object and pass the name. Let's create a simple object which will represent an order. So add a new class in the client project called order with three simple properties. The first one will be the product ID, add two more properties, customer, and finally, a date time property, creation date. We will send this order using this model to the queue. So go to the program.cs file and create a new instance of the order class, define default values for the properties, a random width for the product ID, any customer name, and the creation date. Now it's time to send the message to the queue. So use sender that sent message asynchronously by passing the order. But before passing the order, we need to create a new message, which is a particular type service boss message. We will convert this object, this ordered object into a JSON string. So called JSON convert. We need to install the Newton soft.json package. So install the latest version and call the method serialize object by passing the order instance and send the message. Before sending the message, let's write a line, press enter to send an order. And finally, let's say order with product ID at interpolation, order that product ID field, create it. And finally, console that read key to prevent closing the console. After the console that write line, add console that read line to send the message. Now it's time to add the server project. So add a new project, which will be a console app. Define the name of the project. For this project, we will use the same Nugget packages. So go to the client project file and copy the package references, copy and paste it to the server and go to the program.cs file for the client to copy this line, which will be used to connect with the service bus queue. So this is the service bus client. Create a new property receiver by calling the service bus client that create receiver by passing the queue name or copy the name. Let's receive the message by declaring a variable and call receiver that receive message asynchronously. Now let's deserialize this message object into an order object. Okay. So how to do that? Create a new variable called order and use the same JSON convert class that deserialize object 
which will be of type order. So add a reference to the client and pass message that body and pass it to a string. We will serialize the string value on the message. It's important to call the receiver that complete message asynchronously to remove the message from the queue. So pass the message to complete the message. And finally, let's int the order product ID. The order with product ID at interpolation order that product ID is completed and add console.read key to prevent closing the console. Now it's time to test both projects. So click to configure multiple static projects. Select this option and start a new console window for the client and for the server. Click apply and click OK. Click start from both applications, press enter to send an order, which sent this order with product ID to the queue and the server has processed the message because it's completed. So how to verify, go to the Azure portal, go to the queues tab. And as you can see, the demo queue has no active messages. Go to the queue and here, as you can see, we have one incoming request, which is our message sent from the client project. So close both windows, but now how to send a batch of messages to the queue. Go to the client side, open the program.cs file, and now create a new list of type service bus message to send several messages in a single batch. So add a new list, create a new object, and this service bus messages, we will apply the same serialization so let me copy this part and the order will be a new one. So copy this part, define a random width for the product ID, another customer name and the same creation date. Add two more messages, change the name of the customer, call and finally jump. We have a couple of messages, three messages to send to a queue. Call sender that send messages asynchronously by passing the messages. Go to the server side, the program.cs file, and let's process the messages that comes from the queue. How to do that? Call away, create a variable called messages, and call receiver that receive messages asynchronously, not the match messages set to three, and then use a simple for each statement. This the messages to print the messages via console. So transform each item to an order model of that with the same JSON convert that we serialize budget. So let me copy this line. Item will be from the item that body that to string. So okay, let's change the name of this item property from the for each to message. Let's print the order product ID. And finally, to remove the message from the queue, we need to copy this line to complete the message. And that's it. We're able to process multiple messages from the queue. In the client side, let me add two lines. Press enter to send a batch of order and read line. And finally, move this read key to the bottom. Start the application. Enter to send a single order. It's been processed. Now, press enter again, but to set multiple orders. And as you can see, the server is processing a batch of orders from the queue. All the messages are completed. So go to the Azure portal, refresh. As you can see, we process seven messages and we have no active messages. So in this demo, we learn how to create a client server that application using Azure Service Bus queues.